Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another video. It is a Wagovi update video. I know it's been a minute <laughs> since I did one of these videos, but I actually got a comment a couple days ago asking for an update video, which is crazy because I was just saying to myself, I need to do a Wagovi update video. So I figured I would sit down really quick and just chat with you guys and give you an update a year update because it has been a year and I want to say like less than a month that I have been on Wagovi. So if you are interested and in hearing what I have been up to and how my Wagovi journey has been going, then you guys just keep on watching. <music> So before we start, I need to get some water in me. Are you guys drinking your water? Did you have your water for today? Whether you're on Mongovi or not, you need to be drinking your water. And that's just my PSA for the day. All right, so what's been going on? What's been going on? I figured I would sit in the same spot that I did 10 months ago when I filmed that first video. Uh, when I was telling you guys about Wagovi and me being on Wagovi, I figured we'd come back. We'd come back to the spot <laughs> um but anyway what's been going on okay so i started wagovi in february of 2023 and it has been such an amazing journey losing the weight gaining the confidence learning more about myself what i should be eating exercising drinking all of that good stuff and I first want to say before I move on in this video, thank you guys so, so, so much for your support, for your comments, for your love, for your checking in on me. Those of you who have joined the Discord and are talking and are sharing your experiences, thank you guys so, so, so much. It honestly blows my mind. First, how many people are either on this journey, want to take this journey in the process, waiting for medication. It's crazy how many people are just jumping in and i truly truly love you guys and thank you so much for sharing your stories whether that be in the discord or in the comments on youtube like i just want to say thank you for from the bottom of my heart for really just opening up yourselves and allowing me to open up myself and share what i'm going through and you guys have pushed me through this year i am not gonna tear up i'm just not gonna do it because i'm a thug I'm a real thug. Don't me at all. I'm a thug. I'm a real thug. Um, but I just, I completely love you guys. I, I have absolutely no words. And before I did this Wagovi video, I was struggling with sub subscribers. I was struggling in motivation. And you guys like came and showed out for me and showed me so much love and hit the subscribe button. And I just want to kiss all of y'all's faces and tell you how much I love you so if I missed a comment because I do that sometimes I try to like heart everybody's comment and say something but if I missed you I am sorry every single one of you have a spot uh right here for me so I just I love you guys I really do there is so much that has changed in the GLP1 world um, and I know that it is frustrating. We'll, like being on Wagovi we'll right now, on, uh, for you people trying to get on it, I know it is a frustrating process. I get it. Uh, the the shortage has really lasted longer than I think even I thought it was gonna last for. Um, so I know that it's frustrating, but stay the course. Remember you, your goals and what you want. Keep calling around. Keep harassing these pharmacies. They are working to get more factories up and going. So please just keep that in mind. Um, they, we spoke to, um, I did speak to a, a rep for Wagovi um, who does frequent our doctor's offices and she gets it. She says that, you know, they're trying everything they can. If you guys are not familiar or have not heard, a new weight loss medication did hit the shelves. Uh, it got approved December 2024 and um, it is called Zetbound 
it is the sister to Manjaro. So you know how I said Wagobi is sister to Ozempic? Okay, Zepbound is sister to Manjaro. And it's a new medication and it hit the shelves and everything went full force for Zepbound right after the whole Wagobi. Once the Wagobi shortage started, the Zepbound came out. So um, if you are one of those people who are struggling and waiting for Wagovi, I would reach out to your doctor's office and see if Zepbound is something that you can get. Now, if you were approved for Wagovi, you should be approved for Zepbound. It's still a G GLP-1 medication, so weight loss medication. So you should be able to get the Zepbound. Now, what qualifications do you have to have to meet the Zepbound? That's a different story. Um, now, I do know with my personal insurance, Zepbound is harder to get so i couldn't i was debating honestly switching over from wagovi to zetbound because i was on the highest dose of wagovi and i was like you know will i benefit from switching over to a newer medication zetbound because it hits on the two receptors versus wagovi who hits on the one but with my insurance i would have had to be a 35 bmi which i was not and um now they have done it where you have to try two weight loss medications tried and failed before getting approved for Zepbound. So Zepbound for my insurance is harder to get, but that doesn't mean that it's harder to get for you. It, it, I think it's company based on what the rules are. So and when I say company, I mean your employer and the insurance company and what they agreed to. And yeah, <laughs> so um, I believe that the rep for Zepbound, because I did speak with her, um, she, did, she has come across my doctor's office a couple times. Uh, I believe she said you can go be down to like a 32, I want to say. I think, don't quote me. I think she said 32. Um, so just check with your doctor's office and see what the requirements for Zepbound would be. If you can get Zepbound, Manjaro is Rolls Royce, okay? <laughs> Manjaro is Rolls Royce of the weight loss medications. She she trumps Ozempic and, and Wagovi by by far and that's because like i said she's hitting on multiple receptors versus ozempic and wagobi who are hitting on one if you can get zet bound get zet bound so call your doctor's office and see if you can get it now keep in mind zet bound hit a shortage just like wagobi did they hit it very early okay so if you can't get the zet bound, i would call pharmacies and stuff to see if you even have a possibility of getting Zepbound if you even got a script. So do some research, do some investigating. But yes, there is a new medication out. Um, like I said, she is top tier. So if you can get her, get her. But um, I know where I am, there's a shortage of it. That doesn't mean that's like that everywhere. It's kind of like Wagovi. Some cities have it better than others. Some areas have it better than others. So you gotta you got to do the legwork, but if you can do it and you can find somebody who has the zet bound, you should go ahead and try to get that zet bound. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> um, so anyway, about me and my Wagobi journey. So um, I believe I said that my ultimate goal, I think I told you all this in a video, my ultimate goal is 180 pounds. I am five pounds away from that. Um, now that is my fault. <laughs> I have hit a stall and I hit a stall by my own accord. Okay, so... I stopped working out the way I needed to. I stopped eating the way I needed to. Um, I introduced fast food back into my routine, which is very, very bad and I need to stop. But honestly, you guys, if I eat fast food, I eat it like, I, that would be the only thing I eat in the day. So it's not, it's, it's bad because it's the only thing I'm eating in the day and it's nothing of quality. So, you know, I definitely, did hit a stall. I am not gaining. I'm actually maintaining or losing like a pound. So if I was to get strict on myself again, like I was before, I, I could be way past my goal weight. I'm just stalling. And I know that when I started, you know, recently I went back into my working out and stuff and I started dropping weight again. So I know that it's just me needing to stop doing those bad things. <laughs> and get back to being super strict on myself so that way I can get to 180 and maybe even into the 170s. Right now I'm sitting at 185. So it's not bad. I'm very close to my goal weight. I just need to get strict on myself again and um, get back to my consistent working out. 
which I'm so disappointed in myself because I started a workout routine. I downloaded the Just Fab app. Is it Just Fab? No, I'm lying. It's Just Fit. <laughs> I downloaded the Just Fit app and when I did, it, they were running a sale for like $30 for the year. My friend just copped on it yesterday and the sale went to $39, so essentially $40 for the year. So it did go back up a little bit. But if you are looking for that lazy girl workout, then that is the perfect app for you. Do not think it's just lazy girl workouts, though they do have really good workout, other workout videos in there that you can do, like intense cardio and stuff like that. But they also have those like workouts that you can do on your bed. It's They have the wall Pilates. So it's really, really good. If you guys are interested, I would definitely check it out. Um, I started doing that and I was getting up at 4.45 in the morning to do that and I was loving it, absolutely loving it, feeling accomplished, feeling good. Um, and then allergies came into the South Carolina area and destroyed everything, took me out for a week. So after that, I fell off the horse. So I need to get back on and I need to get recommitted to getting up at 4.45 in the morning and doing it because I am not doing it after work. I'll tell you that right now. Me working out after work don't work. So yeah, I need to get back on that. But I am going to try and do this burn boot camp with my friend, which will be after work, which sucks. But that starts April 1st, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I need to just get back strict with myself, get back on the horse, get back to doing what I need to do so that I can get to my goal weight and update you guys with hitting my goal weight but it's totally my fault the holidays hit I ate bad the good thing was that I was on this medication so I wasn't eating multiple plates of food I was actually maintaining my weight throughout the holidays eating the bad stuff so yeah but um once I get back on the on the horse and get back on being strict on myself I have no doubts that I'll be able to lose this last five pounds and get to my goal weight so it's it's really exciting and I'm really happy about that so throughout this year of taking Wagovi um I I'm very fortunate that I have not hit a lot of cons or like side effects or anything like that um I did have like a, a thing of neuropathy I still don't even know if that was related to the Wagovi but yeah I had some neuropathy going on um on the uh right side of my body and a little bit on the left so i did think it was wagovi because i was injecting on my right side just so and then it, and then the neuropathy started it never got narrowed down to wagovi being the culprit but you know i just think it's kind of weird that it started when i was doing these injections so i'm not going to say that that's a side effect or a con of being on it i don't know if it flared something up that I was not aware of, I, I'm really not sure. But outside of that, the neuropathy thing that was going on, the only real side effects that I've had taking this medication over the last year was dizzy spells, constipation, um, I have had nausea, and uh, a little bit of hair loss, not a lot actually. But I do notice when I wash my hair, I have more hair that falls out than I did previous to taking Wagovi. That is a um, side effect of this medication. You can experience hair loss. So um, what I did was I started taking like hair, nail, and um, skin vitamins and... Did y'all see a bug? I don't know. There was a bug flying at me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I did start taking like hair supplements and um, trying to just keep up on my protein because if you start losing weight, I mean, I'm sorry, if you start losing hair, and this is with weight loss medication or weight loss surgery, usually protein is something that's linked into that. So um, yeah, I figured that protein was lacking in my diet, so I tried to increase that. And when I did, I started noticing not so much hair loss, but I, I, I am experiencing some loss. So um, I would say that that would be a side effect. Um, and then when I eat something bad, it's war okay my stomach takes all out war on me and it is the absolute worst pain i have ever experienced and it's happened luckily within this year it's only happened twice 
an all out assault where I'm talking like I'm playing Russian roulette in the bathroom because I don't know what end it's going to come out of. And a lot of times I thought it was going to come out at the same time. Not cute. So um, that is something that you may experience is um, when you eat something bad, it, it just rips you apart and it's happened to me. And it ain't fun. It ain't fun. Um, I have had, I did have some like food aversions in the beginning, but you guys, honestly, this has been a very nice journey compared to the list of side effects that Wagovi could have. I really lucked out and didn't really experience too much. So, um, right now I'm not experiencing any side effects. Uh, I had one of those stomach assaults happen to me last weekend. So that was my most recent one. And I don't know what I ate. What I did, I actually think it was macaroni and cheese that I ate. And my mama makes the good mac and cheese, like where you do the roux and the Velveeta cheese block and you make the cheese sauce. And and I ate two spoonfuls of that. And my God, my stomach, and I'm not lactose intolerant, but my stomach played war with me. And I I want to say that's what it was because that was the only thing I ate outside of chicken rotisserie chicken and it just did not like me in any way shape or form did not like me so i did drink some ginger ale it calmed my stomach down a little bit but y'all it wasn't cute at all but like i said outside of that no real major complications i have been super blessed positives i have dropped a lot of weight i have gained confidence i have gained just a sense of being able to live and be comfortable within myself. Um, my dating world has expanded massively. Um, <laughs> it's nice to be looked at as sexy. Not that I wasn't sexy before, but I think like obviously I'm getting a new pool of people, men who think I'm gorgeous. Thank you. Um, and so that is just a boost of confidence, but it isn't even about men, it's about me looking at myself and being like, dang girl, you look good. Or my girls being like, dang girl, you look good. You know what I mean? So it's it's amazing to feel comfortable in my skin and walking around and not feeling like I'm carrying 5,000 pounds of weight. I feel lighter. I feel more um, energetic. I feel like I can be and do more with my kids. And so that is such a reward that this medication has been able to give me. And I'm proud of myself. And it's not just about medication. It's about me learning about myself, learning what I can do, what I can accomplish. The medication is assisting me in that. So that has just been one of the things that I love about this medication is that it gives you a glimpse of what you can do. It's, an, it's, it's not supposed to be the solve all be all for you. You're supposed to be eating right, you're supposed to be working out, but this is supposed to aid you so that when you have those bad moments, like when I rolled through the McDonald's drive through that I am not, <laughs> um, that I'm not gaining 50 pounds after eating the meal because I can only eat but half of it, you know? So um, it's aiding me in just learning how to be disciplined and I'm still working through it even after a year, but it's been a very good journey and it's such a great thing, um, that this medication has been able to give me. Um, it's benefited me because I've got to meet all of you guys and I've gotten to talk to you guys and I, it's working great for the people that I have been able to speak with who are on it. Um, so guys, it's giving us, it's giving us new, new life. And you know, so that's a great thing about this medication. It has not broken the bank for me. I know it breaks the bank for some, so I don't want to rub that in or make it seem like yay me, but just, this is my experience. My insurance has been really, really good with this medication. I've only paid $25 per box this last round. I got a three month, um, supply and I used the Wagovi discount savings card and paid zero dollars for three boxes. So I have been very fortunate and very blessed that financially this medication has not broken my bank. It's been affordable and yeah, I'm really, really uh, happy about it. So 
Cheers to being in the wonderland. Cheers to being five pounds towards my goal weight. Here's to just living life and all that good stuff. But it is not just about the scale. It is about the non-scale victories. I feel like the non-scale victories do so much more for me than the numbers on the scale. Because remember, when you start to work out and gain muscle, your, boy, your weight will fluctuate and it may even go up. So I try not to focus too much on the scale. Um, and I try to focus on my measurements, like as far as how my arms are looking, my legs are looking, my stomach, my waist, my face, you know, like I'm trying to look at those types of things and what I'm buying and that's telling me my progression. So I try not to focus on the numbers too much, you guys, really. But when I started this journey, I was wearing a 2XL in clothes. Y'all, I've gone clothes shopping the last two times, the last two weekends, and I have purchased medium-sized clothes. Larges are big on me now. That is insanity that Nicole was in a medium, okay? I have not been in a medium in God knows how long. I can't even, I can't even remember. I can't even remember to tell you guys when the last time I've been in a medium. So I am in medium-sized clothing right now, and that is exciting. <laughs> so... Um, that's a non-scale victory for me. Again, you know, just getting compliments from people that are around me um, has been just kind of like a non-scale victory. I see myself glowing more, which is a non-scale victory. So yeah, so there's, there, so there's some things that I'm noticing off the scale that have really just um, made me feel super good about this journey and what I've done and accomplished. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> those are some of the non-scale victories that I have over the last couple weeks. But I did want to address something. Now, this was comment was posted on a video, and I can't remember which one. Where some lovely gentleman decided to come into my comments and uh, basically say um, that people who are on this medication instead of getting up and going into a gym, want to inject themselves with a needle. And let me just, let me just say this, public service announcement. Do not, and I repeat, do not come into my comments and be disrespectful, okay? Um, because this journey is not just about me. This is about a bunch of other people in my comments who are making decisions to change their life and make it better. And I will not allow one person to come into my community and make people feel bad about going on an injectable medication, okay? There is different ways to lose weight. Yours may be the gym, sir. Some people choose medication. Some people choose bariatric surgery. And that is okay. It's okay. And what you will not do and what I will not uh, tolerate is people coming in here and making others feel bad for making a decision to better their life. Is there ways that we can do it in the gym? Absolutely. And everybody, no matter what method you go with, you need to be in the gym or you need to be doing home workouts because exercise is critical in any form of weight loss that you do. But just because you decide to be in the gym 100% and that's the way you lose weight, do not knock somebody else for doing medication or for doing weight loss surgery. That is not allowed. Okay, we support each other here. And if this is not your cup of tea, if weight loss injections are not your cup of tea, then hey, first, I don't know why you're watching a weight loss inject in injection video anyway. But B, you don't need to comment. You don't need to comment. There's plenty of people in these comments who are taking injections and who are, are seeing drastic changes in their life and you are not gonna come in here and make them feel bad about it. I'm sorry, I just had to say that. You didn't make me feel bad baby <laughs> okay you didn't make me feel bad and i'm praying that you didn't make anybody else reading your comment feel bad we are out here doing what we got to do to drop this weight <laughs> okay and if it's not your method that is okay it's okay but don't knock my method i won't knock yours okay that's all i wanted to say <laughs> that's all i wanted to say all right, um, and then I just wanted to touch base on some of the favorites that I have found on this journey. I um, do try to do protein like shakes in the morning and two uh, shakes that I have found that I absolutely love is the Fairlife Vanilla uh, Protein 
I believe they have oh god I forgot the grams don't get me to lie in um but I will try to either insert a picture here or link it in the description box below I really do love it I have never tried the chocolate kind because I am not a chocolate lover but the vanilla is really really good it tastes like melted brayers ice cream <laughs> um and then the other one that I have really loved is the core powers i do the 42 grams of protein one because it really does knock out half my grams in the morning and it's really really good it's easy to drink it's not overly thick um and if you stick them bad boys either one in the fridge for 10 minutes it comes out almost like slushy like and i swear to y'all it tastes like melted ice cream so if you guys are looking for some good quick protein drinks to take on the go core prop the core powers and the uh, Fair Life protein shakes are really, really good. I like vanilla in both. That's really all I've tried. I'm not an artificial strawberry person and I don't like chocolate. Um, <clears throat> one of the girls I worked with drinks the chocolate kind and she loves it. So um, definitely get the, give those a try if you're looking for something shake wise. I also have the Woman's Best whey protein shake that I can make at home, but honestly y'all, the Fair Life's and the Core Powers have me in a chokehold. So I don't really make that one. They are expensive. I believe the core powers are about $4 and some change a pop at Publix. Um, and I think I found them in the gas station one time and they were about $5 a pop, but they are so stinking good. If you can get them in bulk, I think that might be a better option for you. But if you're looking for some great protein drinks, I would say those are, are good. I'm still doing the Bear Goose uh, Detox Teas. Um, and is there anything else that I have tried? Oh, the uh, the clear proteins. I started trying those. I'm still working on a flavor that I like. So once I do find that flavor, I will let you guys know. Um, I know that a lot of the bariatric patients that go into the hospital that I'm at, um, they have them drink those after surgery. But I just have not found a flavor I'm loving. So once I find one, I will let you guys know. And I'll update you. So yeah, so I think that's all I have for this update. It's really not going to be long. You know, I like to keep these things short, sweet, to the point. Um, but let me show you guys the body real quick. You guys see me? Alright, so this is the body. Um, like I said, I still got this mommy kangaroo pouch. I'm going to have to work on that. This is me from the side and the back. So yeah, this is what I'm looking like right now. Um, obviously this is a little bulky with this belt and, and pants, so this is probably not the best uh, <laughs> way to show you guys what the update of the body is. But literally like this is the waist right now. If I was to kind of help outline it a little bit so yeah the arms are looking thinner and um, I don't know if you guys can see but like I have ankle okay they used to be thick <laughs> but I got ankle so really I'm working on underarms I'm working on trying to lose this mommy kangaroo pouch that I'm rocking and I'm trying to tone up these thighs but I mean outside of that she looking good or whatever <laughs> All right, you guys, but that is it for this Wagovi update. It's been a year. We're on this journey. I'm really excited. Oh, I wanted to touch base because I have gotten some questions about, am I nervous about coming off the medication, the weight regain, all of that good stuff. So here's, here's the thing. I do not know when I am coming off this medication. Insurance can change in a heartbeat. I could not be at this job tomorrow, um, you know? So one thing that I am trying to do is get myself in a disciplined routine so when I come off this medication it's not going to be a shock to the system I will gain weight back you will gain weight back understand that when you come off a GLP-1 medication you will gain weight back so it's all about how you go about it eating exercise all that jazz some people I have heard gain it back um in a small amount some people i've heard didn't gain it and some people i knew blew it back up and gained more so it, it's i don't know which category i'm gonna fall in so one thing that i am trying to do while on this medication is come up with a system so that when i come off 
I am not gaining a lot of weight. I do know somebody who came off the Wagovi. She was on it for a little bit. She gained all her weight back plus another like 40 pounds. So she blew back up. That is a fear of mine. <laughs> it is a fear. Understand that when you get on a weight loss medication, it is something you need to be committed to for life. You will have to be on this medication for life. Uh, the Wagovi rep has told me that. My dietician has told me that. My doctor has told me that. This is a lifetime medication if you want to maintain what you look like when you lose the weight. So they didn't say it's impossible to not gain it back. They just said you will gain back something, if not all. Um, but like I said, there's people who haven't gained back. So it's going to be a fight if I don't gain it back because... I'm not hungry because this medication is telling me I'm not hungry. When I don't have that barrier there anymore, it is known that you will eat your way through house and home. So <laughs> I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for what coming off of this medication and how that's gonna look. I do not know what that's gonna look like right now, so I can't give you guys a solid answer. All I can say is I am trying to figure out the best way to maintain my weight loss post this medication. I do not know when I'm coming off, I don't have a plan. As of right now, I'm staying on it as long as my insurance will cover it. So I don't know what that looks like for me. So I will update you guys as I get a little closer if I decide to come off of it early. I also have to be careful if I decide to come off of it, how easy will it be to get back on it with insurance? That's something that I have to think about. So there's a lot of elements to this that I do not have answers for. I am worried about gaining the weight back and I am worried about it coming back full force. I will tell you that if it comes back full force and I still have this insurance, I will get bariatric surgery. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm letting y'all know. That's just what it's gonna be. So, um... I'm just thinking about it. I'm hoping that I can just do this the, <clears throat> the the disciplined way. I'm hoping that I can, but if I can't, I will be looking into bariatric surgery. Um, but right now my plan is to stay on this medication and just learn how to eat, learn how to exercise, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So that's the plan right now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end this video so it's not super long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Here's to some more time on this medication and some more journey. And I can't wait to be able to come back on here and tell you guys that I lost the last five pounds. Y'all need to keep me accountable. Okay, help me, help me, help me. Because if, if I'm left to my own devices, I can do some psycho stuff. So, <laughs> um... I need y'all to help me out, keep me disciplined, keep me on my toes. It, ask me, Nicole, have you lost weight? Have you, are we closer to our goal weight? Keep me on track so I don't disappoint myself or you guys, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again for being on the journey with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>